Hello everybody, you're here with Claudu Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today I am very curious about trying the difference between the uh, Makeup Forever HD Skin and the Water Tone Makeup Forever. So I've been very curious because I received this sample for a while and so I wanted to try them. They're on the same color, so we'll see what the difference is. Um, I'm also got new colors from the brand Merit. Uh, I have showcased what I had already in another video, but I did receive two new colors and one new blush so i'm gonna be showcasing those and then we'll see what happens as you know this channel sometimes i go here sometimes i go there so if you're interested in that please keep on watching oh and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so um let's begin i mean i don't know if this makes you curious i'm always curious about the different textures and things like that now which one should i apply first i'm gonna apply this new one because I already, the water tone one, I already have tried this before and I do like it. So I'm very curious about what this water tone is. Now, what does this say? It says, da -da -da, a foundation bursting with water that blends harmoniously with the skin to naturally enhance the complexion while letting the skin breathe. Good for skin, natural fresh, fresh finish, and no transfer. I mean, there's a lot of claims there. So I'm very curious, actually. I think this is not necessarily new. I think the other one might be the newest, but I have here uh, the samples and, excuse my dog. And the color that I am gonna try for myself is Y245, all right? So let's open this baby up. I don't know why I haven't opened it before greeting you. So I'm gonna apply this on this side of my face. Now, I don't have anything else on my face other than a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury corrector under my eyes. As you know, that is the preference. And oh my God, does it help quite a bit. And um, so let's use my prefer brush, which is the IT Cosmetics uh, number seven. Okay. <laughs> So I've been requested now for a couple of people, I mean, not many, but a couple, uh, to do an about video, you know? And so, um, it's, you know, I'm 50. So an about period, uh, about is like, it could be long, right? I mean, it could be what period of my life? I mean, what do you want to know? <laughs> so I thought it would be a lot easier. It's not an original thought. I see a lot of other YouTube YouTubers do it. Um, to answer questions. So maybe it's too early for me to do an about video and I'll keep holding on. But if you have questions about me of what I did before, about family, about where I live, I don't know. Uh, what do they call it, some people, assumptions? So if you have assumptions about me or questions, write them down below. All right, so far, well, it did say natural. I mean, do you see a difference? Toot, toot. I mean, perhaps a little glowing, it, it touches a little bit of this redness a little bit, but I thought it dry, it, my skin looks a little drier, tiny little bit, not like super dry, but I'm also not understanding why I would put this foundation. I mean, it looks nice, daily maybe. All right, so before I apply the second, layer because this is very light i mean should i just leave it like this you guys know that i like a light foundation but all right well let's try the other one on the other side let me clean the brush so the question is if you have assumptions or questions about me please let me know in the second matter of business here is uh, we're still going for the uh, giveaway. 
that I will do as soon as I arrive to 11, 11 subscribers. So um, if you wanna enter that, please watch the video that I will be linking down below. This comes in a little pump. Oh my gosh, a little dirty. And watch what is the giveaway and what are the rules for the giveaway. And I just needed to mention it because it's still going on. Back to the foundation. This one, the application feels fresher. Like I immediately feel as if I was putting something gel or not in the consistency, but refreshing. Like I feel and cooler, which is interesting than the other side. Now that doesn't mean how it's gonna look or if it's gonna look better. It's just how it feels. Now, what do you guys think? So this is the HD Makeup for HD Skin and the other one is the Water Tone. HD Skin and water tone. Hmm. Well, the water tone looks whiter. Remember, they're the same color. This one looks a little whiter. This one feels a little more moist. It did feel like that from the star when I applied it. It felt cooler or geller. It is smoother. I mean, look at it. Look at the wrinkles up here. They're a little smoother. I don't feel like the product is in between the wrinkles. I also don't don't see like they made them disappear, but I don't see the product inside the wrinkles like in here. Here, I think it emphasized them a little bit more. Look at that, and look at this, right? This ones look a lot more emphasized, even look at here. So definitely this one's smoothest. Now, if we want it to be a little bit more fair, I'm gonna apply, I'm cleaning the brush again. And I'm going to apply a little second layer just in case of this other one over here in my under eye. A little bit here. I don't know why. I just think that it, it feels so, so thin. Almost like I wanted a little more coverage. And, and this is from a person that barely uses coverage. But um, which one do I feel is more makeup-y? Let's see. Let me look at my mirror. And you can see if I side. So there's this side. And there's this side. Well, so far I like the color on this side better. But that's color wise. You see, this is darker and this is lighter. Uh, it's very apparent to me and they're the same color. Um, I don't like the warmth that this gives me. Some people like that warm, I don't. I like this other brightening or cooler effect. Not brighter in the effect that I look glowing, it's just the coloring. All right. By the way, I have in my lips a little bit of the Mary Gloss. It's a nice gloss. Very, very light and subtle. I seen the owner of Merit in Instagram videos where she just applies sort of the, the gloss as a daily thing. <laughs> All right, so let's move along and we'll see what happens, right? Now, the first thing, let's apply, this is gonna be a little abrupt because these lipsticks do have color. So let me at least uh, take this gloss a little bit off. All right, um, so let's apply, I was very curious of Le Avenue. Now, the, my favorite of this is definitely fashion because it's more pink, uh, but Le Avenue, I was very curious and it's actually very brown, very dark, not good for spring or summer perhaps, but I just couldn't stop myself and I got it. It has this wine. Look at that. Ooh, right? I'm already loving this color. All right. 
so what I was curious about and what I got was this Lay Avenue and then I got this Mood. So let me swatch this for you right here. And then let's swatch the actual blush. Now, this might be a little too red for me. I don't know what I was thinking. This is the blush. This is the lipstick. See, very red, red brown. But um, I was in that brown. Do you remember I even mentioned in one of the videos that I got into this very brown ramp? Look at the, the two foundations. I'm actually liking this. Maybe it's just the color, but I am liking it a lot. Wow. Who would have thought? All right. So I don't know if I should do this as bronzing or, well, let's, it's too red, too brown. I don't know what to do with it, but <laughs> I did that. You can do it with your finger. I'm going to use a brush. Why? I don't know. I'm just curious here. You know, I heard one of you subscribers that you are light with your brush, blush because you're scared of becoming red. I think this color is one of those that you can be very scared of turning red because I think I just turned red. <laughs> Now, I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing. It's a look if you're looking to match sort of these two things. Because if I was putting any other kind of lipstick, I, don't, I think this will look too red. Perhaps if I was just going for a gloss or something, then it will be kind of that Patrick Ta look, very much a blush and then something more subtle. But I have to say the combination of these two is not... Um, it's not so bad. What do you guys think? Is it too red? You would prefer a little maybe peachy or more color? I, yes, another subscriber said that they're tired of this peachy thing. I am too sometimes. I mean, sometimes I do wake up and I'm like, oh, that's so nice and so lovely. But there's days like today that I'm like, yeah, I'm tired of it too. So we'll see tomorrow how it is, but this is why I have a collection of makeup because um, I do turn my mood and my liking and what I wanna wear and what I wanna apply in my face depending on how I wake up that day. I understand it's not for everybody. There's some people that do the same thing every day, but to me, I can't. All right. Sometimes I, it's almost like I need a certain color. But look how beautiful this is. I am liking it. And, and you saw how simple. I put foundation, I put this blush, and I put this lipstick. All I need to do is put a little bit of mascara. Seriously. Now, if I'm, I'm taking a little bit more of this blush. Now, if you thought this was too red or the color was not perfect, really you could add a little bit more orange or you can add a little bit, oh no, this is cheeky. This is more plum. I wouldn't mix this red brown with plum, but let me swatch them for you. Um, this is the cheeky. Now, cheeky I love with fashion, the other lipstick. All right, so these are the three blushes that I have. Beverly Hills, cheeky, and Mood, the new one, the one I just applied. Beverly Hills is very subtle. PT sort of thing. This is more pink plum, and then this is more red, but look how beautiful, right? And so the nice thing about it is I, I really believe this go with the, with the lipstick. So this is the blush I'm wearing, and this is the lipstick. Now I'll show you what I do for the other blushes. So let me look for uh, fashion. Fashion is my favorite on me, although this looks lovely. Um, Fashion is this. So fashion, look at with that color. That looks awesome. Um, I also have, um, this is Millennium. Is it Millennium? Yeah, Millennial. This too, I did a whole video on it. 
So this is Millennium and this one, I also use it with that or you can use it with that. So it goes with both and then this goes like this and then this goes like this. And then there's another color of blush that I don't own. And that one looks a little terracotta, but soft, a little more in the orangey. That's why I haven't ordered it, but who knows, maybe it can be used for bronzer and then with uh, this two as blushes or something. But I really like this. Um, there's another color that I got. So let me take this off and try it, but I don't think it will go with this blush. I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. I apply this um, color, Cabo, very lovely. And this might go very well with that blush. I don't have the, uh, the one that I say is very soft terracotta or with a little bit more of this color. This Cabo, uh, I swatch it next to Dior 08 or 008 um, and it was so similar there's this one see this one will go with that very beautiful so maybe I'll do a short um, uh, showing that instead of this one but um, but it's very lovely color as well so I'll be right back so I am back with the original lipstick color because I really like the look and um, I'm gonna put the Merit Eyebrow Gel. So let me apply this and I'll be back. All right, so I apply a little bit of the Merit Gel. Uh, it, is, it is a good gel. Um, it makes them look a little bit nicer. I don't think it put a lot of color and I don't think it makes them very like spray or very you know hard on. I think it's a very natural sort of gel, nice. Um, but I don't know if I would repurchase this, although this is blonde, I'm sure they have a little darker colors, but the ones that I really enjoy is the lipsticks and the blush. I mean, look, and with all the colors that I show you and the combinations, it's a very simple everyday. You can just change them and you're really in style and it's just all I'm wearing. So let's finalize this. Um, I'm going to do my eyes with other shadows which are Pat McGrath and um, but I will split it in a different video because I've been having trouble uploading a bigger uh, larger kind of video so that's how we're gonna do this but um, how do you think about the foundations I mean now that I apply makeup do you see any difference between one side or the other I mean, definitely the warmth that this gives makes me look, I think, a little younger. I mean, a little more put together. And the lightest color on this side makes me more youthful, I think. Now, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to say because in the way they're performing, they're very, very similar. This one is a lot more smoother, I think, but a tiny little bit. Now, how do they feel on my skin? They feel about the same, really. So it's hard to say. Uh, would I recommend this? Since the last time I tried the um, Makeup Forever, I like that brand. I like that brand for most of their items. Uh, you need to know, you need to be a little more knowledgeable about colors because they have such a variety that it's a little intimidating, at least for me has been. But the colors that I have gotten from them, uh, they really have worked for me. So, you know, if you wanna try them, uh, you know, please do. And yeah, I don't think you can go wrong between these two. I like them both. I really like them both. I probably will get more this one because I tend to like the, the lightest color, but um, this one looks very nice too. All right, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Oh, should I? Please comment down below, ring the bell on the left and uh, right, hand, right hand corner. I'm gonna apply some gloss on top of the color. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
there you go. And I am going to work out my eyes on the next video. Uh, please check that out. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.